What's up everyone, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here at the unboxing of the HTC One Max. Sorry taking a look at this guy, but we didn't get a chance to see what it looked like in its carrier clothes. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up for Sprint. So here's the box for the HTC One Max. We already reviewed it and really liked the phone, but we got it straight from HTC and didn't get a chance to see what it looked like coming right out of the box. Uh, this is the Sprint version, as I mentioned. Lots of good things to like here, including this gorgeous 5.9 inch 1080 screen. So that means it is 1920 by 1080. So I can slide out of its protective covering right there. All done up in unibody aluminum or aluminum, depending on where part of the world you live in. Uh, powered by a 1.7 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 chip, two gigs of RAM, uh, either 16 or 32 gig configurations, but you can up that storage uh, via a micro SD card slot. HTC Ultra Pixel camera on the back. It's a four ultra pixel sensor, which takes pretty good pictures and also does 1080p video. But though that is a very awkwardly placed fingerprint scanner, which you sort of have to swipe your finger over and directly swipe over the lens. Uh, so we did not use that in our review, but it does work very well if you can sort of target it directly. Uh, it did perform as advertised. So you can decide whether or not you want to use that or not. 802.11 A, B, G, N, or A, C, 3300 milliamp hour uh, battery. Uh, weighs 217 grams or 7.65 ounces. And we are looking here at the newest version of Sense. It does come with Android 4.3 on board in case you are wondering. Difference here between the Max and the regular HTC One, aside from the giant size and the drop in processor, uh, this back actually removes. You go ahead and slide that down. You might think it's a profile switch, but it is not. It will pull off this back plate which lets you access your SIM card and then micro SD card if you choose to add one. No access to the battery though here. And again, this aluminum back just comes right off and with a little bit of difficulty, we'll go right back on in place. So you get the option now for removable back but still get that great HTC build quality. I think that was a really good compromise that HTC did. Everything else here though is the things we know and love about the HTC One Max. Uh, this time though, just done up for Sprint. Push it off the side for a quick second, see what else you're going to have in the box. Uh, you're going to get a wall wart, you're also going to get a charge and sync cable, getting started guide, and Sprint's really good uh, about including a bag for returning, or recycling rather, old devices, sort of keep, uh, keep the world a little greener. You also get some HTC stickers in there as well, and then your, your SIM card if you choose. It's a micro SIM, uh, not nano, um, in case you are wondering. And that is it. This has been a really quick unboxing and first look at the HTC One Max. If you want to see our full review of the device, put the link down below to check that out. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you next video. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.